Have you ever received that annoying notification saying iPhone storage full? Or maybe your iCloud storage is almost full? We've all been there, but don't worry because today we're going to help you figure out how to buy more iCloud storage and free up space on your iPhone. Before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our content. First, you might be wondering what usually takes up space on your iPhone, and the content will vary depending on your usage. To quickly check this information on your iPhone, go to Settings, tap on General, iPhone Storage, and that's it. Sometimes it takes a while for the information to show, but it usually doesn't take more than 10 to 15 seconds. And as you can see, photos and apps are taking up the most space on my iPhone. Now, let's say you ran out of storage. Can you buy storage on your iPhone? And unfortunately, you don't have an SD card slot on your iPhone to easily extend the iPhone storage. But what you can do is buy iCloud storage or clean up space with a special tool that I'm gonna show you in a second. To buy more iCloud storage for your iPhone, you will need to sign up for a subscription, but the process is really easy. Make sure to go to settings on your iPhone, tap on your name, tap iCloud, and then tap on manage account storage or scroll down and tap upgrade to iCloud Plus. I'm going to tap on manage account storage. And next, the only thing you need to do is tap on buy more storage or change storage plan. Apple offers options from 50 gigabytes up to 12 terabytes. I'm currently on the two terabytes plan, but you simply need to choose your desired plan and follow the on-screen instructions. Now, let's say you want to free up space on your iPhone. You have the option to delete duplicate photos, similar shots like five photos of my cat Leo that I took to make sure I wouldn't miss the moment, notes, screenshots, and large videos. And yes, you could go through your library and delete these manually, but it would take you forever. So here's where Clean My Phone comes in because this app can help you free up space a lot quicker. Make sure to download Clean My Phone. I've included a link down below in the description and open it. Then make sure to have the first option selected, declutter, and tap on scan. Here's where the app will use its advanced AI model to analyze and sort your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer. Then you can tap on each of the categories of clutter, such as WhatsApp, screenshots, Instagram, screen recordings, Lightroom, Blur, duplicates, and deselect the photos that you want to keep. Then simply tap on clean, or you can go ahead and just tap on clean right from the start. Next, the second module that you can use is organize. Once you tap on scan, the app will show you stuff to organize. And just like the declutter option, it will also give you similar photos that you might want to delete and recommend photos that might not be that relevant for you. Again, you can tap on each of the categories to deselect the ones that you want to keep and then tap on clean or tap on finish right from the start to clean it all. Now, we want to hear from you. Which of these two ways do you like more? I personally think that having the ability to clean up is great and so convenient with the help of Clean My Phone, but a combination of both cleaning up the phone and having enough storage would be ideal. And before I conclude, make sure to check out our video on how to free up space on Mac as well. The link is included in the description below. And there you have it. These are a few ways for you to increase your iCloud storage and free up space on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.